Hey, you too. So, deep breath, deep breath, deep breath. Let me just start with some mindfulness and being present. Appreciating the background and where I am because, <laughs> y'all, this Mercury retrograde and this full moon in Scorpio approaching, the energy has been very, very intense. It's just been like, Aah! it's been intense. It's been chaotic. However, it's been very, very, like, honestly, well needed. It's been peaceful. It's been relaxed. It's just been a lot going on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I'm so grateful that it happened this full moon cycle and not the full moon on my birthday. Because this is a lot of energy going around. Hey, y'all. It's just been a lot. It's been a lot going on. Life is good. Life is great. I'm grateful to be alive. I'm out here sitting at another lake. Y'all know me. Love some water. And I was actually led to come to this lake in particular. So we're going to see what spirit has in store. Ooh, creativity. I looked over and saw a spider web. A big one, too. Um, an old close homegirl of mine was actually the one that put me on to the spider web's meaning creativity. And that's something that had always stuck with me. So, shout out to Shamika, noble empress. And, um, yeah, I see it again. So, we're going to get some creativity going out here. And first things first with this moon water. I had already started on it. Hey, y'all, this is literally, okay, protected. Yeah, let's start off with that. Protected from all, right, fuck y'all. Protected from <laughs> all evil eyes, all hate and energy, all low vibrational stuff. I got me some markers, and we're going to finish this more water. Um, and it, this is literally just some Nature's Promise spring water I got from Harris TV, y'all. And I had already started to write my intentions in work my magic and stuff. Shatira is getting back into the candle magic, the spell work, the rituals, and it is feeling good. It's definitely all good in the hood. Y'all know this is um, what I like to do most. So I've been definitely getting back on my spiritual journey, heavier, consistent, um, obviously vlogging it so y'all can share the experience too. Okay. So first things first, moon water. I am manifesting high vibrations, positive vibes, compassion, hope, self-healing, protection, lots and lots of protection. And when I um, am doing my moon what I am very intentional. So when I think protection, I think of spiritual protection, um, mental protection, physical protection, love protection. Um, you know, just protected from things that aren't supposed to be in my aura. Um, and even I protect myself from myself. You know, the lower parts of myself, the traits I may not be aware of, or the traits that have yet to be conquered and corrected. So I am very, very big on just being intentional. So one night I um, got my candles and was working on some inner work and doing some self-love stuff. And I'm like, you know what? It is about to be a uh, full moon and some stuff I need to let go of. And um, so peep game, like obviously intention water, moon water, whichever you prefer to call it. If you are drinking this, it obviously has to come out. So, um, you know, like I'm thinking of all the things that um, I want to manifest and attract. And I'm also thinking of the things that I want to release and let go of. Um, you know what I'm saying? So with this blue marker, um, I'm actually going to write some of the things that I want to release and let go of since I already started the base of these little things. So this is the stuff that was on my mind when I first started this moon water. And um, now that I'm more intentional about what I want to release, what I want to cleanse from, what I want to heal, I can write that in on this jug and think of it as I drink it, reflect on it. Um, like, Because right now what's sticking out to me is trauma. So trauma is here uh oh she about to get her kids together um but trauma is something i want to release myself from all kinds um you know and uh, that let me write sexual trauma that's definitely a thing spirit just told me um release myself from sexual traumas and i'm gonna think of that as i drink this water reflect on some sexual um instances that may have not been so desirable for me and i'm gonna 
reflect on it, cleanse myself from it, cleanse my body from it, accept the cleansing and release it. And um, obviously I'm gonna pee this out. Um, right, it's coming with ease. Me releasing this stuff is coming with ease. So I'm gonna just take some time and sit out here, reflect more. And I am going to start this video back once I wrote on my bottle. So right now, I am just addressing and getting acquainted with my jug of moon water. And we will sit this out tonight, overnight, at a window sill. Normally, um, the last few nights I had it at my nightstand as I was prepping for it. I'm letting go of any love that hurts or that did hurt in the past, past hurts. I release those. My body, my heart, my mind, my spirit, my soul release those. I'm so proud of me. And I'm so proud of y'all. I'm so proud of us, everybody who is up here watching and engaging. Shout out to y'all along y'all spiritual path. Um, And again, I'm just writing down all the things I want to get rid of. Um, and you may see some, it looks like contradiction, because obviously I don't want to get rid of positive vibes and high vibrations. This is just um, what I was manifesting, bringing in more of as I first got this idea for the moon water. So now I'm just switching the energy and intention to things that I wish to release. So hopefully the instructions are really clear for y'all. I know a lot of people ask, how do I do this stuff? How do I make it work? And I honestly just tell everybody, continue to be intentional. Be as intentional as you can be. Ain't no shame. Start where you are now and just continue to grow. Okay. So as you can see, I have added more to my moon water. I've been a lot more intentional. Um, I was actually just out here in my feelings again. So I'm going to turn this off and self-reflect and journal some more um because yeah it's a big big release and purging going on this season um the spring season this retrograde and um this full moon for sure so it's a lot of heavy energies for me i'm just sitting back obviously as i'm making my moon water and reflecting on um not only how far i've come but just thinking about how much more i got to go like if y'all haven't noticed yet the spiritual journey is um everlasting like it's always gonna be something that need to be healed always something that's going on always something in the works so um yeah it just got me like damn my emotions are heavy right now because i'm like ah, shatira but it's all getting me to the next level the next phase the next transition the transformation is here is where everything is in alignment it's getting me exactly to where i want to be where i've manifested i want to be um and yeah where i'm going so it's all good it's just um it just take a lot of energy y'all um that's all that's really all i can say i am gonna go home and do a self-love bath probably turn my phone off meditate cleanse release and stuff like that and um yeah i'm gonna just sit with me kick it and enjoy myself spending time with myself and reflecting on all of my goodness and greatness and all of the shit that i need to let go of um, yeah, and I'm definitely going to the store in a few minutes, so I'm going to go grab me another bottle so that I can make an extra moon water because I definitely need to purge from a lot of stuff. Release, release, release. And never to return. So... Um, yeah, y'all, this is what's been up with me, processing all of my emotional activity. Again, everything has been very, um, heightened and intensified with this Mercury and other planets in retrograde, as well as this full moon and Scorpio energy. So... Yeah, it's the control for me. The strong will is a good thing, but it's never okay to, um, you know, just whew, help me balance out my emperor energy universe. That's all I can say. Um, 
And here is a Mo Magic book resource if anybody is wanting to get into anything. But I shall be cleansing myself from these things actually over this week. Um, the next few days for sure heavy as the full moon energy will be heavy and present. But I always like to do my weekly rituals. So I'm going to be focusing a lot on what needs to be released for me as I um, go through this week. Um, yeah, so that's what's going on with me. Sending love to y'all. Praying that things will come easy. And um, yeah. Stay tuned for the next update. I'm actually preparing uh, my energy to go to New York, y'all. So that'll be the next vlog. And it's going to be road trip edition with my dad. We're going to um, drive to New York. My nephew, Sayer, is having his second birthday party. I can't wait to see all of my New York loved ones. So that'll be the next one. It won't be as emotionally heavy and as intense. It's going to be fun. It's going to be chill. It's going to be a family travel vlog. <laughs> so, um, thank y'all for bearing with me, even as my energies are heavy. I'm going to add the link to the Facebook Live that I just did. Um, Spirit had led me to go on Facebook Live and just do some um, card readings and everything for everybody. So, I'll add that link as that's in attachment with the energy that's going on. And, um, yeah, release. Let it go. And um, I pray that life gets easier for us, okay? Until next time, tribe.